I'm making this video today because of the amount of times I've heard, but doctor, I married a virgin. Why is this happening to me? Why am I finding it difficult to conceive? In today's video, by the end of this video, you would find out why female virgins are not more fertile than non-female virgins. If you're new to my channel, I'm Dr. Amarachi Ijama. I am a fertility physician and my channel focuses on everything women's health and fertility. So if you want more content like this, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and don't forget to leave a comment. There are two major reasons why the society and even the couples themselves sometimes blame the woman for infertility in a marriage. And one of these reasons is because they feel like, what if the woman has done abortions, that she has terminated some pregnancies in the past, and they feel like, okay, this is the reason why they, don't, they can't have a child. Sometimes the man is aware that his wife has done termination of pregnancy in the past and then feels like oh it's your fault that we can't have a child but this is absolutely not true because as much as infertility can be a complication of abortion it doesn't mean that everybody that terminates pregnancy it doesn't mean that anybody that does abortion will be infertile it's just the same way Keloids are a complication of piercings. It doesn't mean that anybody that gets a piercing will get keloid. It's just a complication of piercing. Until you are absolutely certain that the cause of the infertility is because of the abortion, then you can say for certain that because of the previous termination of pregnancy, that's why you're finding it difficult to conceive. The second reason is people believe that as virgins, Definitely, they can have sexually transmitted infection. That's not arguable. But are we forgetting that when you get married, you would actually still have the sex and you can still be exposed to sexually transmitted infections? Again, sexually transmitted infections does not translate to infertility. Yes, it can be a complication. Infertility can be a complication of sexually transmitted infection. But remember that when you treat it early, when you treat it properly, then it doesn't have to lead to infertility. Wait a minute, why are we making this about women? When men marry non-virgins, they too are exposed to sexually transmitted infection when they have sex with women. As far as there's a sexual intercourse involved, then there's a risk of sexually transmitted infection. And it can also be complicated with, by infertility for men as well. Sexually transmitted infections and termination of pregnancy, aka abortions, are not the only causes of infertility. So, when you, whether you marry a virgin or not, it doesn't translate to fertility or infertility. Let's focus more on increase in age for both men and women. Let's talk about for women. The older you get, the lower your fertility. It's just like, let me explain this by using a football team. You know how there are 22 players in a football team, but you send out the first best 11 into the field, and then when there's an injury or something, you send out the next best player. That's the same way the amount of eggs in our ovaries are. So every female baby has a particular amount of eggs in her ovaries that is just there at birth. Just like a football team, the first set of eggs are sent out when she first starts seeing her period. And a woman's fertility is said to be at its peak between the ages of 18 and 25 years. But by the time she's in her mid-30s, that's about 35 years old, her fertility starts to dec decline, the amount of eggs starts to decline. Then the next set, that's when the second set of eggs are sent out. Now this second set of eggs are not as good as the first one and they are not as much obviously as the first one because there's nothing refilling the ovaries. So it's just that amount you had at birth that keeps being sent out so it keeps reducing. So by the time a woman is getting to like 37, 38, 39, 40 and above at some point the egg completely finishes. This is a major cause of infertility because when there are no eggs then there's nothing for the sperm to fertilize same goes for men 
when they reach the age of 40, their fertility starts to decline. However, their sperm doesn't finish. Their sperm never actually finishes. But the quality starts to reduce after the age of 40. There's reduction in amount of sperm cells. There's reduction in motility. There are two major causes of infertility in women. One, PCOS polycystic ovarian syndrome and this can happen to anyone whether you're a virgin or not. PCOS is the commonest hormonal disorder in women and it causes irregular menstruation or no menstruation at all. This translates to fewer ovulations or no ovulation at all. You know you actually have to menstruate before you ovulate. Ovulation simply means release of egg from the ovary and you know that the sperm has to fertilize an egg for a baby to be formed. So I've done a video on PCOS. To watch, you can click the link above. Another major cause of infertility in females is endometriosis. Endometriosis occurs when the tissue lining the inner part of the womb is found outside the womb. So sometimes it can be found in the fallopian tubes or on the ovaries. And when it's found in the fallopian tubes, when the woman is menstruating, it irritates the tubes as well it irritates the ovaries too and it can cause scarring on the tube so like scars from a wound and when this happens it can close up the tube preventing the sperm from reaching an egg from fertilizing an egg and when endometriosis occurs on the ovary it can cause cysts also this can happen to anybody regardless of your virgin status to watch my video on endometriosis, click the link above. Some other causes of infertility, like primary ovarian failure, which is the cessation of menses before the age of 40. This can happen to anyone, regardless of your virgin status. Earlier, I mentioned several other causes of infertility, but I won't be talking about them in this video, but I've made a whole video on causes of infertility. So if you want to know in detailed, like in a detailed form, the causes of infertility all of the causes of infertility then you can click the link above to watch the full video now talking about virginity i am not against virginity obviously i respect everyone's beliefs and choices and so should you people use the term break the hymen or when you have sex then you're breaking the hymen ah <sighs> i would say the hymen is already broken but then i don't like that word here's the thing People believe that the hymen is a blockage, like a covering in the woman's vagina. But actually, it is an elastic tissue, a very elastic tissue that has a slit from one end to another. Have you ever wondered how virgins actually menstruate? Like, where does the blood come from? Apparently, it comes from the womb, but it passes through the hymen as well before it gets outside. That's because the hymen has a slit and opening that is extremely elastic. So when a woman has sex, nothing is breaking. There's already an opening on the hymen. And for some women, when they break their virginity, they wonder why there's no blood. This is because the hymen is very elastic. So the penis just goes right in and doesn't break and there's no injury like there are no slits there are no cracks around the opening there are different types of hymen and different women have different sizes of hymen so when you don't see blood don't be worried don't be alarmed also the size of the penis matters if the penis is very big then when it goes through the hymen it can actually cause cracks along the sides and then you will see blood so i have a message for virgins don't feel pressure to lose your virginity make sure you're ready you don't have to have sex to be intimate with someone when you eventually do there should be mutual consent i don't think you should rush to lose it i also don't think you should see it as a trophy lastly i would say marriage is not consent but I guess that's topic for another day. If you found this video informative, if you loved this video and you want more content like this, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and don't forget to leave a comment. See you next week.